Hi everyone, I am Fabio. Welcome to the Flobonacci channel where I share my passion for dragon stuff. And today I'm going to show you the Tracer Chi Roll. Tracer is the word that has been used, as far as I know, more in the poi spinning world, and it defines a trick where one hand will go over and under your arm by tracing the outside of an arm. And here we're going to use this concept, but the dragon will trace the outside of my arm. Basically, it's going to roll over my arm from my shoulder, elbow, and then under my arm, my shoulder. And then do it again. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, going up, tracing the other part of my arm. Let's dive in. On your turn. The first thing I'm going to do is training with one arm. So I'm going to guide and help my dragon rolling with my right hand. And the left side of my dragon is first on my shoulder, going down, elbow. And here I'm going up to let my dragon roll on the back of my arm. And when it reaches my shoulder, I'm going to go under my dragon and make it roll again. So you can practice this to get used to the sensation. It's really kind of a stretching, so you can really Stretch all the side of your body. And slowly, what I would like to do is when my dragon is coming down, the left end, the left head of my dragon is in front of me. When my dragon is up, this head is at the back of my body. You will understand why a little bit later in the video. So it goes like this. Going down in front, going up and at the back. Switch. Up, down and when my dragon is reaching my shoulder, my arm is free, can go over and offer my dragon a way to roll again. In front of me and at the back of my body. Of course, Practice both sides. So your body is getting used to the move in a symmetrical way. Shoulder switching, my arm is going under my dragon and let it roll again. Tiny but important detail. When my dragon is reaching the end of the back of my hand in front of me. I'm going to come back with my palm facing the sky. And then keep on going. Shoulder going under my dragon. Let it roll. Palm up. 
and uh, down up stretch relax and enjoy and then I will begin to practice the full sequence with both arms it re it, uh, it requires um, coordination but it's it's not difficult your body will understand I am beginning with my left dragon head in front of me dragon is placed in the palm and the right part of my dragon is behind me landing on my shoulder and here we go Ooh, coordination. <laughs> Here we go. And this is why this tracer chiro is not keeping the head on the side of my body because when I need to go over my head and let it roll down on the down part of my arm I can't do it here I will do it here because I can bend on my left more than I can bend on my back not sure I'm clear. Here, having the dragon staff pointing at the camera is very useful. Here, I can bend and let it roll on the side of my body. Down, here, side, side of my body. Slow-mo time. How to enter a tracer chiro? Well, if you're in your chiro, I would advise you to begin to point your dragon staff heads, pointing at the camera here, in front of me, in front of me, palm facing the sky, palm facing the sky and go over, over, it's really, I really like this tracer chiro, it implies a lot of the body, if you practice this 20 minutes I can assure you that your body will say thank you, um, yeah, you have this extension, coordination. Yeah, it's a full body trick. So once again, chiro in 
front of you and going up. And there is one variation, as far as I know for the moment. Let me know if you find something else. For the moment, when my dragon is reaching here my shoulder, I'm going under the dragon in front of me. But you can go also under your dragon on the back of your body, which is a little bit more stretchy for your shoulders, but it goes like this. Woo. Come on. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Now, here, here, here. Here we go. Whew. This one is definitely more challenging. Beware, it asks a little bit of shoulder flexibility. Good warm up is required, but it worth trying. And that's it for this Tracer Chirol tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you will enjoy practicing this Tracer Chirol, which is a good way to exercise, move your body, and practice dragon stuff at the same time. If you like this video, you can follow the Flobonacci channel on YouTube, and also visit my Patreon, where I'm offering other tutorials, free flow sessions, and innovative tricks. And I really would like to thank the Flobo community who is supporting me on Patreon, because if the quality of this video is as good, it's because I paid a camera with the Patreon money. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to each and every one of you who are supporting me, motivating me, helping me in my mission. Thank you. And if you want to support me, you can also have a visit to the Flobonacci website where I'm offering my creations. So have a visit. Thanks in advance for that. And until next time, keep it spinning, practice, and have fun, guys. Ciao.